Hello. Today I'm going to show you how I incorporated the easy uh, easy touch controller into my game, uh, and it's running on Android and both, of course, also on PC. First thing we want to look at is our player. We have loaded scene one one from the actual game. And if you want to try the game out, it's free on the Android store or market if you want. It's uh, um, at the moment only available for Android. And I don't think I'll be transferring it to other platforms, but I may do a remake because a lot of things has been learned since I made this. <laughs> well, we have our player right here. And we have some things attached to it. You can see we have... Android stick, there we go, and we have the easy touch. Well, these two things are in the manual, how to attach. And uh, if we just quickly switch to our screen, you can see this is the controller. Just using the default skin that came with the controller, or one of them. I think there was four to choose from. And let's switch back. However. The question I got was on how do I incorporate this to work with Android and uh, Unity? Well, it was actually quite easy. First of all, I made the game work just using uh, on PC VASD keys. When that was working, I then proceeded to incorporate the, the asset. So. These things, if you have been uh, trying to use the tutorial in the actual, uh, what's it called? My touch, easy touch, sorry. And you have problems, well, check this out. This is my Android control script. It's even named my Android control. That's because I also have a, if you look down here in my scripts folder, I have a, my PC control, that's for PC control, and one for Android. Click on the player. You can see it's the spear we have selected right now. I have these things, these float values. Currently, speed is zero, position is zero, acceleration is 15. I've made these like this so I can change them per level if you wanted to give some sort of acceleration boost or something. Never mind that. However, I also have these two float values. You can see that's one called my joystick, right there. And that's basically just this component. It came with the pack. I dragged that into there and my button. I'm not using the button. There's no button on this. Well, later there will be, but in this level, there is not. Level name, not something we are going to use. So let's let's see what's inside this script, really. There we go. <clears throat> and I have taken the liberty to close these down because the script just looks very, very messy. <laughs> this was my first Unity game, so things tend to be a bit cluttered. Anyway, as you can see here, I have a few things attached to the script. The public values are easy joystick right there. You can see easy joystick is stored as my joystick. Okay. And easy button is stored as my button. That's why I dragged them into that, just to pull them into the script. I have a, another thing right here. You can see on enable, it's the easy button. Right now, the button is not being used, so there's no point. But if I were to use the button, this is where I would put the code for the button. Uh, and the rest of them is not related to easy, uh, easy touch. So I think I'm just checking, just to make sure. No. So the only thing we have related to easy touch is right here you can see float move horizontal equals my joystick that's the one from up here dot joystick axis x flute 
sorry, <laughs> flute. <laughs> float, move vertical equals my joystick, joystick axis Y. Also from that one up here. Float, move, jump, get input axis, jump key. That's not that's something I should change. If I wanted to place a easy touch button on the screen, I would use my button here instead of jump. I will write my button dot button. But right now it's just set for the PC default. Then I'm going to set a new vector. And I'm going to call the vector movement, new vector, move horizontal, that's from up here. Move jump, that's from there. Move vertical, that's from there. And I'm going to add a force plus the acceleration. That's the acceleration we got from, where did it go? Right there. So that's how I can control the the in-game speed by changing that value. Let's uh, open the PC control just to just to compare it. Let's scroll down. You can see on PC I would just have the input get access horizontal, input get access vertical, and jump. On Android it's basically the same except I'm using the asset my joystick. It's that easy. And that's how I make a easy touch work with the normal C sharp script. And basically after the after I got the game working, I then add the assets like easy touch and such. Lately my games uh, well you can see there's a lot of C sharp script. I have re been replacing everything with the um, it called Playmaker uh, just because it's easier to go through when checking code but also easier to uh, fix when there's a problem. However, it's not that easy to get an overview of what you got in your game because all you get is a ton of these things and it's very very hard to incorporate any sort of external asset like easy touch into playmaker unless you start to write your own actions for playmaker and that sort of defeats the purpose of using playmaker in the first place however it's still a great asset both of them is and i do recommend both depending on what you're making of course I hope it helped. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.